parallel processing using the echo of all things? How, you may ask? Allow me to show you. First, we'll patch our source audio through an empty combinator. Then I'll add two devices to the combinator, an audio spider for a splitter, and of course, the echo. Let's reroute the input through the splitter, sending one split right back to the main inputs, and another into the breakout inputs. It's the breakout inputs that will allow us to bypass the delay and still access the other modules. And it's the main inputs that will provide the dry signal that allows us to use the wet-dry control to create parallel processing using only the echo. Let's go full wet and crank up the limiter so you can hear it. Pretty nice. Okay, here we are dry for comparison. Let's set it up to about 50-50 for a nice parallel compression effect. Next, I'll add the filter section, turning it up and widening it all the way out to add some top in. Here's dry. Here's 50-50. Here's full wet. You can also use the bypass switch with this routing to compare before and after settings. Let's listen to some of the other settings. First, overdrive. Now when I turn the filter off, notice the nice low end on this setting. Now let's hear the distortion setting. And now tube. Let's compare it again to the dry setting. Oh yeah. Now back to my favorite drum setting the limiter with 50% wet dry. That just about covers using the echo as a parallel processor, of all things. But wait, there's one more thing. You may have noticed the ducking knob. Let's check that out. When we hook a pad sound into the breakout inputs and leave the drums in the main inputs, you can use the drums to duck or sidechain the pad. You can also blend in a bit of the drums if you like. Ducking, using only the echo of all things.